Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to do the next answer writing practice video that is next answer of our agriculture optional answer writing practice video and the question we are going to discuss today is explain the term conventional and conservational tillage and give account of their comparative effects on soil properties and greenhouse gas emissions. So this question was asked in this year's UPSC civil services examination that is agriculture optional paper of this year's UPSC CSE that is 2024 UPSC CSE agriculture optional paper. So let's see how we can approach this answer. So first of all you will have to understand the terms conventional tillage and conservational tillage. Okay. So when it comes to conventional tillage, it is the normal tillage which is done by the farmer. Okay, that is tillage where there, there is lot of mechanical increased mechanical distrib uh, disturbance of soil. That is here we will plow properly in proper depths and other things. While when we go to conservational tillage, as the name suggests conservation, so here it will be the tillage, the amount of tillage, the intensity of tillage as compared to conventional tillage which very less. So very less, very less intensity of tillage or either we can also practice no till, that is no tillage or a very, uh, very specific, very small amount of tillage, okay, that is similar to no till only, that is minimal tillage. minimal tillage so this is the basic difference between conventional tillage and conservational tillage and they will have comparative effects on the soil properties especially uh, soil properties and greenhouse gas emissions so we will see that so first of all we will see conventional tillage or we should start with conservational tillage it will be better because it is the emerging topics and various times the question of conservational tillage have come so we will see what conservational tillage is how will it affect soil properties and greenhouse gas emissions so conservational tillage conservation tillage so it involves minimum minimal soil disturbance as I have just said involves minimal soil disturbance involves minimal soil disturbance and maintaining a significant amount of crop residue on surface maintaining A significant amount of of crop residue on surface. So here we generally what practice either we practice no till or minimal till or reduced till farming or reduced till farming reduced till farming now we will see the effects of conservation tillage on soil properties well we have to discuss two things effects on soil properties and effects on greenhouse gas emissions the so first of all we will see the effects on soil properties So what you will see here that it enhances soil aggradation and porosity. So first of all, we will write about soil structure. Soil structure to so it enhances or increases soil aggreg aggregation and porosity. Enhances soil aggregation and porosity because there is no disturbance of soil. Okay, and it improves the water infiltration and retention and improves. water filtration and retention secondly we can add the point about organic matter 
second point organic matter so what you will see here that it increases organic matter content it increases organic matter content due to retention of crop residues promoting microbial activity because here we will see that there is retention of or crop residues retention of of crop residues and that is why you will see here or notice here that the due to this retention of crop residues the organic matter is increased and it also hence promotes microbial activity promotes microbial activity third you can find here erosion control erosion control is the major point because here the it reduces soil erosion by protecting the soil surface with residue first of all it we all know that it will reduce the soil erosion how it will reduce the soil erosion because it protects the soil surface maintains the residue there do not do proper tillage what happens suppose this is soil normal soil when we do the tillage the upper portions of soil turn themselves into fine particles and these fine particles are easily removed by action of water and wind leading to high erosion in conventional tillage but in conservational tillage as these are not uh, tilled very in depth and in mechanized way so what you will see that these structures are maintained and also there are residues maintained over those soil so there are very less chances of soil erosion so this is how it affects soil properties now we will see how it affects greenhouse gas emissions ghg emissions greenhouse gas emissions so how will it affect greenhouse gas emissions so first of all it has a role in carbon sequestration carbon sequestration so what you will see that there is increased there is increased carbon storage in soil increased carbon storage and it will reduce the co2 emissions because these residues and other things will decompose in this because all these residues have certain amount of carbon they will decompose on the soil it will be added to the soil and what happens the soil present uh, the carbon present in these residues it will be added in the soil there is no uh, deep tillage or anything so what happens the other property other parts of soil will not get leached or not get eroded so hence what you will see that the carbon is stored here hence it enhances carbon store sequestration or you can say enhances carbon storage in soil reducing the co2 emissions here you will also find reduced nitrous oxide emissions reduced nitrous oxide emissions so what happens due to less soil disturbance it can lead to lower nitron nitrous oxide emissions compared to conventional tillage because there is less soil disturbance so there will be less nitrous oxide emissions but in conventional silage as there will be high soil disturbance so the nitrous oxide present in the soil will be escaped into the air through erosion and other processes there are various processes denitrification and other things you will have uh, seen in static videos if you have no conceptual clarity on these things please do refer static videos and know these concepts first okay that will help you to understand the answer very easily okay so what happens this nitrous oxide will be released in the atmosphere due to higher disturbance of soil but in conservational tillage there is less soil disturbance so there is less nitrox nitrous oxide emission so this is how it will affect greenhouse gas emission so this was about conservation tillage now we will see conventional tillage so first of all what is conventional tillage it is simply just opposite of conservational tillage that it will involve excessive extensive soil disturbance including plowing and harrowing extensive soil disturbance extensive soil disturbance a d means disturbance including plowing and harrowing which typically results in clean seed bed with minimal residue left on surface it results in clean seed bed and also leads to minimal residues left on soil minimal residues on soil although it has certain advantages also in agriculture that is why it is done from 
so much uh, time it has certain advantages it helps in plantation of various crops in other things so i i am not saying that it is only bad there are advantages in agriculture farming but its ex extensive use is leading to problems of soil and greenhouse gas emissions that is what we have to focus here okay we have to not focus on advantages and other things but we have to focus on soil its effect on soil structure and greenhouse gas emissions so i hope you understand what con conventional tillage is and i think you all know it now its effects on soil properties effects on soil properties so first of all soil structure obviously here you will see that there is degradation of soil structure due to excess disturbance it degrades or reduces the soil structure generally used degrade word that will be more uh, suitable it degrades soil structure leading to compaction and reduced porosity and it will lead to compaction and reduced porosity the porosity will be reduced because suppose in conventional tillage in conservational tillage you will see that there are big clots so there are large pore space present here but in conventional tillage what happens due to disturbance these uh, clots are, are turned into finer materials and due to turning into finer materials the pore spaces is reduced okay and hence reducing the porosity for organic matter what you will see that the organic matter content is decreased over time due to exposure of soil and air region it will it will be decreased because here the soil is directly exposed to water and air erosion so and as this points only suggest there will be increased erosion risk <coughs> sorry so the erosion risk will be increased so there will be high vulnerable uh, high vulnerability of soil to erosion particularly in sloped fields obviously in sloped fields there will be gravity acting so there will be more erosion of due to air and water as the protective layers of residue is removed because the major reason is that removed protective layer of residues and secondly due to extensive disturbance the soil particles turn into finer lpi particles and these finer particles are more easily brought down by or moved away by air and water so this is how it will affect on soil properties now we will see on greenhouse gas emissions how it affects on ghg emissions so how it will affect obviously here will be increased co2 emissions increased co2 emissions soil disturbances releases the store carbon back into nitrogen what happens due to soil disturbance the stored carbon which are stored in soil releases to atmosphere releases to atmosphere again okay so that is one major problem here secondly here we will see higher nitrous oxide emissions nitrous oxide emissions will be higher here because more frequent tillage can lead to increased nitrous oxide emissions due to change in soil microbiology microbiology because there will be change in change in soil microbiology that will also lead to increased nitrous oxide emissions so this is how it will have effect on greenhouse gas emissions so these are the basic points and this is how you can structure your answer there could be other points also so if you want to add points you can simply add those points and let us know by commenting it comment karke hame zarur bataye ki kya kya points aap add kar rahe the points which you are adding and this is the basic points which we you have to must write and uh, these are the things conceptual clarity i think you got it how to write it and in conclusion you can simply write how conservation tillage is good for good for our soil because conservational tillage when compared to conventional tillage is more eco friendly and it will lead to healthier soils lower greenhouse gas emissions gas emissions that is why it is promoted by the government now so i think you should write that way conclusion or you can positively conclude by on your own way that that generally depends on you so that is all for today's answer i think you understand all the important things of this answer so that is all for today if you like it 
प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन प्लीज डू शेयर एंड प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब it takes a lot of hard work to make such videos for you on regular basis and if you like if you share if you subscribe it motivates us to make more such videos for you regularly so that is all for today have a nice day thank you